so my inspiration um, behind becoming an embryologist is quite a personal story. Uh, my husband, his um, sister was struggling with her fertility and went through um, the IVF procedure. Um, thankfully, they have their wonderful little boy now. Um, but that combined with uh, my passion for kind of human biology and science um, and also patient care led me down this career path. Sounds cliche, but definitely the patients. Um, obviously, it can be a really difficult journey for a lot of patients, but when it does work and they have a positive pregnancy and a live birth, seeing their response and their joy is really lovely thing to see. And just to know that all our hard work in the lab is actually doing good um, for patients. I think sometimes there's always a bit of a taboo or a mystery about what we do in the lab. But I think for me, it's test tube babies. We don't actually make the babies in tubes. Um, they're made in little dishes, probably the size of my thumbnail. Um, and that's where we put the eggs and then add the sperm for IVF. Um, if it's ICSI, obviously we catch the sperm and inject them straight into the eggs, but no tubes are made. That we have to do lots of different things. People think that our job is just to put eggs and sperm together and make embryos, but actually there's lots of things that we have to do. If a microscope breaks, we have to fix that. We have to move gas cylinders. We have to handle looking nitrogen. There's lots of different aspects to our job. So I'd say one of my most memorable moments is um, finding out that my first ICSI pregnancy, that was a really exciting moment for me. And also I have just finished my embryology training, which is a great achievement for myself, but couldn't have done it without the Thames Valley Fertility and TFP teams. Um, advice I would give to someone starting a career, like myself, I'm a trainee, um, so I've only began my journey, uh, is definitely just keep pushing, um, keep saying yes to opportunities that arise, and hopefully that gets you to your end goal.